to 11, you're listening to Tony Livesey. So there we are then. A, a senior advisor to Prime Minister David Cameron tonight has offered his profound apologies after claiming that the majority of British people have never had it so good since the recession, or, as he puts it, the so-called recession. Lord Young of Grafham do- told the Daily Telegraph that low interest rates meant homeowners were better off and said complaints about government spending cuts were coming from people who think they have a right for the state to support them. Uh, let's talk now to investment advisor Jonathan Davis. Uh, Jonathan, good evening. Hi, Tony. Will anybody have any sympathy at all tonight with Lord Young? Um, it's, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people will have a lot of sympathy with Lord Young. Um, a lot of people will hate it. Um, what I find amazing about it is that uh, there, there's actually um, a lot in what he said that could have come out of new labour. And I know that sounds really weird, but let me tell you, who was it that slashed the interest rates? Um, you know, they, they say the Bank of England is independent. Um, I, I have not bought that since they called it independent, and I don't believe it's independent. The fact is, interest rates were slashed under new labour. Um, and uh, the fact is that although the uh, planet Earth had the biggest reser- re- re- recession, I beg your pardon, since the 1930s in 2008, we didn't experience any of it. That is a fact. We have not had a recession because of what New Labour did. They pumped hundreds of billions of pounds into the economy. To answer your question particularly, the people who will be upset about this is um, uh, when he talks about uh, um, that the cuts are not going to be severe. Do you know, actually, I don't actually believe that they are going to be severe. Because the reality is, Tony, that by the end of this parliament, assuming it goes to 2015, this government will be spending more than it is today. Um, All they're doing... Just a minute, though, Jonathan. Just a a minute. No, 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 Jonathan, I must interrupt there. You're saying the cuts will not be severe. Um, We're we're looking at at losing, Jonathan, uh, 100,000 public sector jobs a year. Now, you're saying that's not severe. No, it's not severe. There are... Uh, at the peak, there were 6.1 million people in the public sector in this country. Now, tell me why one in five of the working age population should be in the public sector servicing the public. I don't believe they should be. Um, uh, and they're not. The, the, it's just like the Thatcher cuts, the mythical Thatcher cuts. There were no Thatcher cuts. All she did, okay. the same as Cameron and Osborne. So, so I'm just trying to get, that, Jonathan. I'm just trying to get this straight. You, you're subscribing to what Lord Young said tonight when he says there'll be people who complain, but these are people who think they have a right for the state to support them. Uh, absolutely, I'm, 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 I'm agreeing with that. Um, it, all, all the, the coalition are doing is reducing the rate of increase in spending. In, in terms of cuts, all it is is inflation-related cuts. The actual amount we're going to spend is going to increase over the next four but years. But I, th- I think That's I think I, th- I think people listening to this, uh, Jonathan, will will accuse you of the same thing they're going to accuse Lord Jung of taking too wide a view. Because whichever way you look at it, if you talk about losing one hundred thousand jobs per annum, then that's going to be hugely painful to the people of Britain. Not necessarily to you, not necessarily to your neighbour. It, it is going to be hugely painful. In fact, it's not going to be 100,000, it's going to be 200,000 because there's going to be 100,000 a year lost also in the private sector. My point is we haven't got any money. We are bankrupt as an economy. There is no alternative. But you know what? What, what really drives me crazy is that, you know, whether we talk about um, welfare cuts, housing benefit cuts, or even tax evaders or whatever, we're not talking about the root of the problem. And the root of the problem is the banking system. You okay. Know, Jonathan, um, you know, Jonathan, I've got to end it there. Listen, thank you very much indeed. That's Jonathan Davis. Uh, talking about Lord Young of Grafham, who's um, made those comments tonight about the so-called recession. What do you make of him? 0500 909 693.